and welcome back to Bridgeview. We've had several milestones that have been accomplished in the last few months. First off, we have completed all of our permanent cable installation. So there's 10 cables on each pylon on each of the two towers and all of those have been installed. And secondly, we've also completed our land side closure pours. So that's when the segmental deck work reaches the land side and we close that area between the land side spans and the deck. So both of those have been completed and that's, that's what we're gonna talk a little bit more about today. So we have Ian McFerrin, a segmental superintendent with Kiewit Infrastructure West, and he's gonna chat with us a little bit more about the land side closures. Hey Ian. Hi Deanne. All right, so we know that our regular segments are about 16 feet long, so tell us a little bit about these landside closures. How long are they? How much concrete was poured? Things like that. So the closure pour is about six feet long. It's about 50 cubic yards of concrete, which is about half of a normal segment pour. Um, and that six feet is just between the landside structure and the segmental work. All right, so let's talk about the landside structure a little bit more. Um, we have two landside spans, and how long are each of those on the east and west side? Uh, the one on the west side is longer, it's 89 feet, and okay. the one on the east side is a little bit shorter, it's got the curve, and it's about 69 feet. So we have two landside piers, right, besides our, obviously our towers in the middle of the river, um, and they have two drilled shafts, correct? correct? The mono shafts into the column. How deep are those uh, drilled shafts? About 120 foot down into the, into the rock. Okay, layer. 120 feet. All right. So right now we're standing on part of the form traveler. Uh, what happens with the form traveler when you do these closure pours? So after the last segment that we poured, we actually launched the traveler one more time, about six feet, and we hung the lower formwork from the two bridges, and then we removed that top section that was really just supporting that lower formwork. That came off the bridge, and we still kept the lower formwork that we're standing on now, sucked it up against the gap, and then poured on that lower formwork. Um, all right, so maybe a little bit of a silly question, but I noticed as we got closer and closer to our land side closure pours that there's a lot of rebar sticking out, our reinforced steel bar, the green epoxy coated bar um, sticking out on both sides. So how do we make those bars meet up in that final closure pour? Good question. So we have this grouted coupler is what it's called, made in the USA. Uh, basically it has an end that the number 14 rebar goes into. Uh, this would be, for example, the segmental end and the bar coming out of the approach. Okay. Uh, you use a splice bar in between, and then you fill these ports full of high strength grout. Oh. And it's actually stronger, the coupler itself is stronger than a piece of number 14 bar. Interesting. And it locks the two bridges together. So I also noticed as we got closer to our landside closure port that it kind of didn't look like things were gonna match up when we poured the final pour to meet meet the land side. Um, can you explain a little bit about the tools in your toolbox? Like, what did you do to make everything match up at the end? Sure, so a lot of it's considered geometry control. That's where the designer, T.Y. Lin, will uh, predict with a model in the computer where the bridge is gonna go up and down uh, in elevation. And so they're working with, their tools in their chest are hey, how do we adjust the cables, the stress in each of the cables right. uh, to pull the tip of the bridge up and down to, to align it and meet up. Um, so the, the cable work, um, they got their model. And then the final step is if it's a few inches off, we place big uh, alignment beams, these big steel beams across the gap, stress them down, and it basically sucked the two bridges so they, were, they had to be in alignment. Excellent. Well, great work, and thanks so much for your time today. I Thank appreciate you. it. That's all the time we have today for Bridgeview, but we'll see you next time.